Number 15. Scarless corn artists have been known to represent gold-plated tungsten ingots as pure gold and sell them to the greedy at prices much below gold value, but deservedly far above the cost of tungsten. With what accuracy must you be able to measure the mass of such an ingot in and out of the water to tell that it is almost pure tungsten rather than pure gold? All right, so uh, basically what this question is asking is... Um, with whatever instrument you're using, uh, what place, what decimal place, tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths, etc., should your uncertainty lie? Should it lie in the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, or ten thousandths, etc.? All right, that's the question. So let's make an assumption. Let's pretend that we have a, it doesn't really matter what it is, but it, it'll just be easier if I assume that I have, since I'm using milliliters over here, let's just assume I have a, uh, a one milliliter sample. Okay, the volume of this piece of metal is one milliliter. And uh, if this thing is tungsten, okay, which is represented by chemical, the chemical sim uh, signal W, uh, the, actually interesting, the reason why it's W is because tungsten has a, another name. It's actually known as wolfram. Uh, it comes from the compound wolframite. But anyway, um, so we have the density okay, of such a metal such as tungsten equaling the mass of tungsten divided by then the volume of tungsten. So the mass of this thing, basically what I want to do is I want to ask myself, how much does this weigh? Okay, because they're talking about measuring the mass. So I want to ask myself, how much does this weigh? So I know the, um, I know the uh, density of tungsten, it's 19.30. And I'm finding the mass of this one uh, milliliter sample, right? One, this is in terms of milliliters. So is my density. So we can just cross multiply and realize that the mass of the tungsten here is going to be 19.330 19.30 um, grams. Okay, great. This is how much the tungsten, uh, tungsten should weigh. So now let's move on to gold. So what we have here, again, this is the volume of the piece of metal. So now all we need to do is use the same formula but that for gold, right? So the gold here is going to be the density of the gold, AU, that is the chemical symbol. And that will be equal to then the mass of the gold divided by the volume of the gold. And again, this is just basically going to work out to be uh, here is the density. So it's 19.32 grams per milliliter. The mass of the gold then divided by the volume of the gold. We assume that we had one milliliter cross multiply, and we realize that we have 19 point, whoops, 19.32 um, grams. So the difference here between these two, okay, if you notice, these two numbers differ in the hundredths place, right? This value has a zero in the hundredths place for the tungsten, and this value has a two in the um, hundredths place. Okay, that's where they differ. They differ in the hundredths place. Now you might say, oh, well, okay, great. I'll, let me just write hundredths. Hundredths place. You might say, oh, great. So my scale or whatever I'm using to weigh this thing, right? It's being put on some type of a scale. Whatever the scale is, I should uh, have an uncertainty found in the hundredths place. N almost, not exactly. You don't want your uncertainty to be in the hundredths place. Because this is what's going to define the gold versus the tungsten, right? This is what's telling you what tungsten is or what gold is. So at a bare minimum, at a bare minimum, your scale over here should read something like this. It should have a bunch of numbers, right? Whatever it is in the front, then a decimal. And then the scale better have at least three decimal places to the right of the decimal. You have to go on out to the thousandths place, Thousands place. This is where the uncertainty should lie. Okay, so you you want to be certain of your um, what do you call? It? You want to be certain of your hundredths place, and therefore whatever whatever place you want to whatever the last place of certainty is, the next place to the right would be the place of uncertainty. So you want your uncertainty to uh, be in the thousandths place so that you are certain about the hundredths place. That being said, right, it, basically it's asking us with what accuracy or whatever. Again, it's asking us where does the uncertainty lie? And you can just say that this, you know, in order to answer a question like this, something along the lines of, you know, the scale, 
scale uh, measures measures to the uh, thousandths thousandths place. This would be basically the the accuracy you would need a scale that measures out to the thousandths place. All right, whether it's in or out of water, that doesn't matter. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time. Take care.